Astro droids, like R2-D2, can transform from being on three wheels to being on two wheels by pulling that centre wheel in and straightening up their bodies. Now, I can't really, or I don't really want to replicate that on my own uh, Rex P1 uh, build because actually changing the footprint of the robot in terms of the wheels actually causes lots of complexity. But what I do want to do is actually allow the body to rotate. And so I've just put on um, some servos and some gearing to allow me to do that. Remember, my body is on bearings on the shoulders. So actually just adding uh, these bearings or adding these gearings is enough to actually get that to rotate. And here you can see it being tested and actually me rotating it. After some more testing, I'm not really happy with these fine teeth that I've got on the gears here. They're just too easy to get them to slip. And when they slip, of course, uh, the um, Rex, P, or Rex P1's uh, unit moves into a position that it doesn't really understand. So it's, it's difficult for me to recover from without just taking it to bits and putting it back together again. So. So my new uh, version is uh, much larger teeth, um, if I can put that up in for comparison. So, you know, we're two or three times the size of the teeth, and that seems to hold better. Though this unit here, the way that I've actually put this bracket on, uh, although it's a, a three millimeter bit of PLA that I've 3D printed in there, it actually is flexing a bit, and uh, that flexing is uh, causing a little bit of, um, of springiness and potential to slip. But it, it's relatively good. Um, I think it's good enough for now to see how we get on.